Space Engine Systems is not a ventilator company or a medical equipment company. We are basically uh, in the development of uh, high-speed, reusable, 100% uh, reusable uh, space engine, both for space as well as hypersonic cruise vehicle for aerospace applications. Though we have never made a ventilator before or any medical equipment for that matter, one of our other divisions uh, uh, has been working on EMU or extra vehicular mobility unit. It's basically a space suit. It's being designed to make it extremely mobile for lunar surface applications. So we are quite familiar with uh, dealing with 100% oxygen and removing of CO2. The COVID-19 uh, emergency situation basically came to us and we thought, uh, we look at the ventilator design and we looked at it and we, we thought it, it was quite simple to do it. And uh, we decided to do it and we did it in 21 days. We made sure it's quite simple, but yet highly advanced to be used either in the field or in a hospital. So what we have done here is, uh, you have a circuit here which would go directly if it's hooked up to the hospital with an oxygen, or we could use a compressor uh, with a motor which can be designed from 40,000 RPM to 120,000 RPM. I'm just trying to show you how it works. So this will allow us to go into the field and set up a ventilator in, an, in the field. And we also have battery backup uh, to do this application. The oxygen blending circuit is everything upstream of our metering valve. So the metering valve is right here. And what we have is oxygen and air coming in to regulators. The pressure is reduced for the solenoids. The solenoids fire sequentially so that we can blend a predetermined amount of air and oxygen into the accumulator. And then the accumulator provides that uh, blended breathing mixture to the metering valve and the metering valve delivers that to the patient. So James is now gonna to talk to you about the patient circuit. All right, so this is our patient circuit. So on the inhalation side, we've got our metering valve, which controls the inhalation. And uh, we got our solenoid here, which controls the exhalation, our relief valve and our PEEP valve here, which can be remotely controlled to adjust the PEEP in our system. So during inhalation, the metering valve opens, the uh, exhalation valve closes, air flows to the patient through our flow meter, through our filter and into the patient. Then during exhalation, the metering valve closes, the exhaust valve opens, and flow goes back through our filter, through our flow meter, and then exhausts out through our PEEP valve. All right, so on our screen, we can monitor our patient. Uh, we're measuring pressure, flow rate, and volume. And we've also got a bunch of settings here on the top and bottom. Uh, some things like the breathing rate, PEEP pressure, uh, oxygen levels, and so on. And our screen is made you know, pretty large so that you can see it from you know, a distance away as well. One of the critical points or a very distinct feature of our design is we made sure we don't tap into the supply chain of the ventilator market. So we have parts from aerospace, space, oil and gas, um, as well as automotive industry, all oxygen clean to be certified for medical applications. One of the uh, other features is that uh, you could be in a different room or in a corridor or anywhere else and the patient could be far away and you could remotely control the ventilator. So uh, especially on a COVID-19 situation or any kind of infectious diseases, uh, once you hook up on the patient, uh, you can actually be away and do all controls remotely. Actually, you have a feature to actually even dial in if it's required. The other feature that what we have is uh, it's a module which we are working on. It's an AI or artificial intelligence module. And the purpose of that is to assist doctors uh, to immediately treat the patients uh, where the ventilator AI would recommend um, different situations 
to be handled on the spot. Um, even in a field application where the experts may not be available. Thank you.